Jason, what are you holding in your hand? So we have the OMP Hobby M1. So we've flown the M2, we love the M2. We've got several M2s between us. Um, but this is going even smaller, this is the M1. So uh, again, typical OMP style, a direct drive on the motor to the, uh, to the rotor blade. So no gears to strip, nothing to do there. So simple to repair if you do crash. Um, direct drive on the tail with a little brushless motor on the tail and really nice carbon fiber looks absolutely lovely don't get me wrong but with these models you do tend to put them in the ground now and then they've used uh, really nice flexible plastic so uh, it's much carbon fiber snaps this stuff just kind of bends and goes back again so nice. um, as a beginner you could you could get this as a, as a first heli because it has a stabilized mode where although it's not like a GPS hold um, it will just help you out a little bit so um, yeah let's get it in the air and give it a go okay just to share that we did num you did an unboxing video of yeah it. so this is video number two so if you want to see video number one of the unboxing and what you get then the link for that video the link will below. be at the top of the screen now I'll put it there for there them. we go brilliant all right so let's let's see let's how fly. it flies yeah interestingly the power is of just a balance. There's no power connector on this. It's just literally a balance lead. And what comes in the box? Uh, everything you see apart from the receiver. So um, and the transmitter. And the transmitter, yeah. So this is something that OMP sell. This is a little Futaba receiver. Um, I'm actually now using a multi-protocol transmitter, but because I've had the M2 set up on my Futaba. Um, for ease, I can actually just use that model to fly this because it's the same flight controller. Right. Um, so it just saved me setting it up. Normally I would use a multi-protocol transmitter, but uh, yeah. Uh, which multi-protocol transmitter would you use? Uh, I'm using the Radiomaster TX16S Max, which is, uh, the Max part is just bling, so it's just anodized aluminium parts. Which adds quite, well, it adds a bit to the cost, but it's still such a cheap I'm, I'm going to be raving about to. this. I'm going to go on about this in most of our videos now because it is really hacking me off how expensive some of the radios out there are. And you and you get the TX16S come out, it's just over £100. Yep. And then the Max is another is just over £200. Compare that to the big brand names. They're just stupid money yeah. in comparison. Are they not? Yeah. I mean, to get the functionality you've got with the TX16X with... The uh, the color touchscreen, etc. You're looking over a thousand pound with the big brands. Oh, so crazy. Yeah. Whereas those, you know, under, so under two hundred. So I would say if you if you're starting the hobby, or even if you're thinking of changing radio, look at the TX16S, please, because you will just save so much money over the big brand names. And it works with most of your receivers. Yeah, it's yeah. multi-protocol. Yeah. It works with Spectrum DSM2, DSMX. And most other protocols, right? Yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll shut up now. But it really, it's really irritates me, the whole thing. So a maiden for this, so we won't go too crazy. So this is the, the kind of stabilized mode. If I let go of the sticks, it carries on doing what it's doing, but it's if I let go, it it stays flat and level, which is quite nice. Yeah. But it still gives you quite an ability to have quite a bit of fun with it. Put it into idle up. Here's a head speed guard. We'll wait for the plane to idle. Why does that always happen when we're <laughs> flying something electric and quiet? You get a big tiger moth. Big tiger moth go over. Let me just show the tiger moth. Although it's a beautiful aircraft, your timing is not very good, Mr. GA PMX. One thing I will say though is. In stabilised mode, I could look up and see what that was, whereas with a normal heli, you wouldn't be able to do that. Oh, right, so, okay. So, idle up, you've now heard the head speed go up. I've got no stabilisation now. And then idle up too. Whoa. Quite a, if I give it a bit of power, 
What? <laughs> Lord, it changes into a complete animal. It's pretty uh, in idle up too. It's pretty. It's, it's quite a quite a capable heli. Oh, it's not the easiest thing to film. It <laughs> zips around. It is very manoeuvrable. And then back into stabilise mode, and it's quite calm now. So if I let go of the sticks, it just kind of hovers in one, <laughs> one spot. And you, you could learn to hover around. And because it's stabilised, you can sort of bounce the ground without it zooming off like a normal helicopter. And then as you progress, you get into that sort of more mental mode and you can go and do what you want to do. So really su suits the full range of... Uh, you probably want to try a simulator first to get used to how a heli handles before trying this even in the basic Absolutely, start yeah. mode, right? To get your helis orientation. Are, helis are such a good uh, thing to learn on a sim because it's much cheaper to crash. Yep, space bar and you try again. So as you can see, it's pretty capable. And just to, I'm going to take my hand off the control, grab the box, and see if we can land it on the box. Oh, you always have to show off. Technically you did. <laughs> Technically you did. And then you slid off. off. We'll try again. So kind of a bit of a uh, proof is in the pudding there. No damage to the heli. But unfortunately I think the, the, the torque of it spooling down is gonna always knock it off. So uh, we'll try one more time. But. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Thanks, Jason. So, with a big heli, if you'd have crashed like that, you, you would have just cost yourself 100 quid in blades. So, uh, something like this, they're, you know, they're, they're, they're a little bit flexible. Um, these blades are actually a carbon fiber blade, but because there's so little mass to the, to the heli, it just kind of stops. So, yeah, testament to a great heli for a first heli, really. Yeah. So, Fantastic. Uh, I mean, that was genuinely my first flight with it, and I thought it was great. So, you know, um, quite a capable little heli, as you can say. And put it in the hands of a pro, and I'm sure he'd really enjoy it. So. Well, you showed us some, some good stuff there. Yeah. Just need some practice. That's All right, great. so that's the OMP M1 from our friends at OMP. Great guys to deal with. The link is in the video description and pinned comment. As always, could you please like the video? Give us a like if you genuinely like what we're doing here. It does make a difference to the YouTube algorithm and us being uh, searchable on YouTube. And uh, subscribe and click on the bell icon for notifications. Jason, thanks again, mate. No problem. Thanks so much.